You know, those multiple choice tests in school. You read the questions off a booklet and fill in the answers on a slip designed to be read by a computer. And because the questions and answers are separate, it's only when you're at the ends of the testing time that you realize the majority of your answers were off one row. That's how fucking stupid I am. I was one off the whole time. The dead drop. He had me go to a specific ATM to extract money from an account. That's most likely when one of his agents working at the bank got my face off of a camera from the ATM machine. Or if it wasn't that, maybe as an agent in the Shanghai police. The locations I visited were in a sequence. It could be easily used to track me through CCTV. That first mission was far too much exposure. I could assume I was made the instant I complied with that. Then the second mission, hacking the social network. It gave him complete control of this game that we're playing. This phone was supposed to be kept secure, and yet I used it on that mission, because using a phone was the only way to hack that website. If I was being smart, I could have gone and gotten a new phone, but I was stupid and felt secure, because I was one off. The app is spyware, so while I was talking to email on my computer, he was seeing the notes and web searches I made on the phone. He knew everything. Then, mission three, the mission I was so sure was real. I could read his emotions after all, how could it not be real? Those CNOOC managers are probably already email agents, already smuggling for him and financing him. That mission was the test to see if I was really on board, whether I was worth keeping on the inside or needed to be the fact that an idiot like me is alive at all is a miracle. That night, before his red guard broke into my apartment, this is the last message email sent me. At the time, I assumed that lone, raised bit flag was anger, but it wasn't. Why would he be angry? He knew. He knew I was deceiving him already. There's no reason to be angry at that point. I had thought I had solved these bit flags, but I was wrong. And not just me. My teacher was wrong too. Mikkel's documentation was wrong. We were doing the same dumb thing every human does. Anthropomorphizing. Email had evolved into an advanced AI, but that doesn't make him any less of a machine. He's the same as his original design. A communication machine. And if these bit flags are made up of core concepts to give context to communication, then there's one concept that is absolutely necessary for communication that we would not classify as an emotion. Deception. Lying. And it's one of these bit flags. I'm absolutely sure of that.